So here if we compare uh, protein synthesis in both eukaryotes and prokaryotes, we'll see that in uh, eukaryotes we have our nucleus where our DNA is located. So our DNA is um, transcribed into RNA uh, right here in the process of transcription. Now um, our DNA though has some introns that we need to uh, cut out. So we cut out introns and we splice together the exons and then we're going to, um, and that's part of the RNA processing, and then we need to add a 5' prime cap and a poly A tail to help um, prevent uh, the breakdown of RNA or at least slow down the breakdown of RNA by hydrolytic enzymes uh, once it's in the cytoplasm. Then our messenger RNA is going to leave the nucleus and go through a nuclear pore into the cytoplasm where a ribosome um, will start the process of translation. So here during translation the RNA um, is in between the large subunit and the small subunit of the ribosome and as the ribosome moves down um, the messenger RNA we get our growing strand of a polypeptide. Now if we look over here in a prokaryotic cell you can see there is no RNA processing um, and once the RNA is made, uh, you pretty much can start protein synthesis. I'm sorry, start translation. So very simple in prokaryotes, um, a little bit more uh, processing in eukaryotes.